Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Adriana Teodora Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader. And today I wanted to talk to you about healing, awareness, and an invitation. So I was talking to my guides, I was meditating with them before, and I was talking to them about healing. And I've been so overwhelmed by the shadow lately, and not just my own shadow, but this idea that every single person on the planet, every single person I've been in contact with has had their shadow loom larger than it ever has. The negative patterns that we usually are able to keep at bay, our conditioning, our judgments, our hatred, our, everything that is just ugly and negative about us that is not love and peace, that has all been looming so huge right now. And we see this coming out of ourselves, the way we respond towards other people, towards situations we don't agree with. And we see this kind of come out in the rage and frustration at the situation for being the way it is. And because of this, we are feeling our brokenness much more acutely, much more strongly than ever. If you're on the spiritual path, you know that we come here broken so that we can learn how to be whole, so that we can learn how to heal, and so that we can learn certain lessons. But right now, the brokenness is just so, it's like raw, it's right here. And we see it in everyone. Either people right now are choosing to fight this shadow, to work with the shadow, to understand it, to overcome it. They're doing the hard work or they're completely consumed by that. They have become their shadow. And so we have a difference between the people that are healing and the people that are not wanting to heal. And I have just been so personally scared by the depth of this shadow. I just never thought that I would see people I know and people I don't know descend into so much hatred, descend into so much rage, descend into so much unkindness and, and no compassion. I just, I never thought I would see that. And I, as an intuitive reader, as an intuitive reader get scared by this because I think, well, what can I possibly do? This is almost too big for me. But the thing is that I know that nothing is put in front of us that we can't handle. And we know from myths and ancient cultures that the bigger the trial, the bigger the reward. So what's on the other side of this is huge and amazing for us, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So what they said to me was, awareness is the medicine. My guide said to me, awareness is the medicine. We're, he we're feeling broken, we're feeling hurt, we're feeling wounded, and awareness is the medicine. We're talking about awareness from a higher spiritual perspective. We're talking about the awareness that really jolts you into a sense of, oh my God, I had no idea I was creating that. I have no idea I was doing that. I had no idea this was affecting me in this way. We're talking really powerful knowledge, really powerful lights going off. And this is the kind of information that the other side is waiting to give us right now, that spirit is waiting to give us right now, because this is an invitation for the whole collective to change. You and I are part of the collective. And so when we decide to change, the collective decides to change. And there is information available to each person, specific information available from spirit to you that can help you manifest this kind of change. And I know this is all a little bit abstract out there, but we're talking about being done with your shadow for good, being able to have a handle on it for good, getting rid of that really, really deep, really, really strong negative conditioning, negative belief system, negative self-sabotaging thing that is keeping you back and is not allowing you to merge with your higher self, which allows you to live out your soul purpose and gives you the passion and joy that you really feel disconnected from. So what I am saying to you is I invite you to not only cultivate more awareness in your life, but if you're feeling compelled to, if this is really resonating with you, really ask yourself, explore the possibility of doing some intuitive readings with me. What that gives you is not only someone who has been through the shadow work of my own, and so I understand the process from my own perspective, I can share with you wisdom that I've gained, 
but as a channel, as a medium, I bring forth the information from the higher guidance and from spirit that is personal and custom tailored and laser focused on you. So we're all in this together, as everyone loves to tell us, but we really are. But we can all change this together as well. I am more than happy to be there for you to act as a medium and a messenger and someone who can teach you this material and help you understand what's going on with you and how you can start to turn towards your own light more strongly. It's so much easier when you work with someone consistently because you have consistent support. When it's once in a while or kind of here and there, there's a little bit of four, there's a little back, there's a little bit of four and back. But because the shadow is so strong like right now, one steps back, one step back is like 10 steps back. What would normally be only a little bit takes us farther back than what we were. Really, I am so shocked sometimes because people I thought I knew turned, turned this side of themselves out that I've never seen before. And it's almost like I don't know the person. And that's not true. You know, their light is not any changed, but their human self is choosing shadow right now. So the key to healing, they told me, is awareness. And why this is important is because awareness is the key that empowers you. I'm not asking you to become dependent. What I'm wanting to do is support you in your journey towards self-awareness so that you can be self-actualized. Because when you're aware, you, are, you have the nexus of change at your fingertips. You can't change something you're not aware of. It's that simple. If you don't know it's there, you can't change it. Once you know it's there, that is the start to being able to change. Once you're able to change that, that wound can close up and heal so that you don't have to keep reliving that same pattern over and over and over. And so we're really talking about a big opportunity to connect with that divinity, connect with that higher self, and connect with who you really are. One of my, I don't know if he's my favorite hero, but one of the heroes I was reading about today, um, Hercules, he goes through a million trials, even after he has this amazing set of 12 labors, including bringing back the dog, the three-headed dog from the underworld. He has to somehow pick him up and take him, you know, even though he's got fangs and all this junk. He's got all of these crazy labors, and after they're done, he keeps going. He keeps, <laughs> he just keeps going through more and more trials. Why does he do that? Part of it is because he's half God. Zeus is his father, but the other reason is that he's a huge man who is guaranteed immortality at the end of his life as a reward for all of the trials he's gone through, because in going through these trials, he helps other people. He also makes a lot of mistakes, but he helps other people. So the bigger the shadow, the bigger the struggle, the bigger the trial, the bigger the reward for you. So I wanted to extend the invitation. I'm offering free consultations right now over Skype and Zoom to anyone who's really interested in getting to the bottom of their shadow through these multiple sessions that I'm offering. So it's custom, the program is custom tailored to you and there's so much more wonderful things in it. But if you're interested, I invite you to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com, look under packages, or you can just directly email me and I can give you more information. But even if you decide not to do that and you decide to go to another reader or just not at all, I really invite you to join me in this turning towards the light because it starts with one person at a time. One light feeds another light, feeds another light, feeds another light, and all of a sudden we're all turning towards the light, and pretty soon this shadow becomes a memory. Right now our shadow is the reality, and I invite you to stand with me to help, that, to, help to change that. So looking forward to hearing from you, and I'll see you next time.